Morning folks, today is a special kind of day. I'm going to the dentist, getting a tooth pulled and a filling done. Goody, don't you just look forward to these days, these are my favorite. On our way, I got Brittany here with me to hold my hand while my tooth gets pulled out. You think they're gonna put me under? No. No? They're not even I'll be gonna freeze you. I'm gonna be awake through the whole thing. We just got to the dentist here. Got my chapstick on, because I know the dentist is gonna rip my mouth apart trying to get to the back. I'm getting a back tooth here in the bottom, pulled out today. Wisdom tooth. Uh, it's a wisdom tooth at the bottom there. And I'm getting a tooth up here filled. So I'm hoping he does the filling first and pulls this one out. It's gonna be fun. So much fun. My mouth is frozen. All of this here, frozen. My face is really red too. My hair's all, I look like a crazy. Uh, uh, one of those uh, psycho patients. In insane asylum. In insane asylum. I'm just walking around the dentist's office. Oh, I was waiting for the bathroom. I gotta go. Hi guys, Brittany here. So Josh is, Josh is just getting his filling right now. I was gonna show the tooth extraction, but uh, I figured that might be a little bit bloody and some of you might get kind of freaked out. Well, here we are. It's scary how quickly they ripped that tooth out of there. Less than a minute. I'd say it was what? It felt like 30 seconds. It was about 30 seconds, yeah. Oh, it was ridiculous. He just went in for the kill and clunk, done. To watch. Yeah, she watched the whole thing. <laughs> did you at least, did you film it when they took it out? No, I didn't want to freak no? out your viewers because they're mostly truckers and not doctors and blood might curdle their stomach. Could have put it on. Well, hey, you guys want to see my tooth? Here's a warning in advance. I'm going to show you my tooth that they <laughs> pull up. You don't want to see it. Turn away. Yeah, skip it or here. <laughs> there it is. That was in my head. <laughs> Focus. Isn't that insane? It had a cavity and it wasn't worth saving. And it also had no supporting upper tooth, so they had to take it out. Either way, it was getting in my way, so now it's gone. I'm gonna put it under my pillow tonight. Well, Diesel, do you have friends here? Do you have friends? Where are they? Where are they? Is there Frankie? Look at Frankie. Hey, Frankie. You come so good. And Mitzi? There's two wieners in my house. <laughs> Where'd they come from, Diesel? There's a little bit of swelling, not too much. Can you see it? No, you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. Absolutely no swelling. Well, a little bit of swelling. Absolutely no pain, though. Nothing. I was expecting something, but apparently I'm just good at getting teeth pulled. Frankie, are you exploring your kingdom? You have to fight Diesel for it, I think. Diesel, are you sharing? <laughs> They've been acting really good together. Uh, Frankie is four years old. No, he'll be six next month. Six years old. He'll be ten in September. Wow. All right. So today I got to get everything ready for tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna go set up our campsite even deeper into the bush. I don't know if you can get any deeper into the bush than we already are. But it's a seasonal campsite, so it's the same place where my parents are at. So I can spend more time around there with them. My family's usually all out there in the summertime anyway. So tomorrow we got to head out there, set it all up, and enjoy the day yet. Have a bonfire maybe at the campsite. One thing I don't like about camping in the States, now I know this isn't everywhere in the States, but especially in uh, Florida and California, why aren't you allowed to have bonfires? A bonfire is an essential part of camping and RVing. If you're not going to allow bonfires, why even set up an RV park? I understand your safety concerns, but seriously, that's an important part. How am I supposed to make s'mores? So the tooth pulling went really well. I think it's going to go really well. No pain. I just got to watch what I eat for a little while because you don't want because there's a big hole in my head, right? There's a big hole down into my head. So I've got to be sure that uh, I don't get food stuck in there uh, if it starts to cause me problems, then I have antibiotics that I can start taking. But I don't think it'll, I think it'll be fine, whatever, I think it'll be fine. So we're gonna finish getting everything ready, and there probably won't be much of a vlog today, but tomorrow's vlog will be us at the campsite setting up, and that should be a little bit more interesting for you because I don't think I've shown you it there very much. I've shown you mom and dad's site, 
was it last summer or the summer before? So I'll show you theirs because they got a really nice one there. They've set it up there all permanently and stuff. I'll show you theirs tomorrow and I'll also show you mine. I'm really excited to get mine set up. It's going to take me a little while to get settled in there because my parents have been there for years already, right? And they, they're all, they got a fence and a nice deck built and it's all in there permanently. I don't want to be in there too permanently because I want to be able to pull my trailer out of there to go on trips like I just did and then bring it back and park it again, right? And I also want to pull it out of there for winter. I've got all of my clothes here ready to go. I've got a couple more over here ready to go. I've got to bring, whoop, and I put them all on the floor. What else am I going to need? What else am I going to need? I'm going to need my PlayStation because I'm going to want to watch TV and watch movies while I'm there. That means I'm going to need movies as well. I'm going to need this because this goes in my truck. This is my mobile internet here. This is my seat cover and all my paperwork. I need to bring that because we're going straight to the semi-truck tomorrow from the campsite. My logbook over there. We'll get the weasel. You're going to be there with me. Don't worry, weasel. All right, I want this. These are the All right, we're gonna need these lawn chairs, that's for sure. Pack these up, I don't think I'm even gonna put them in the bags, I'm just gonna wrap the bag around them. Cause they're just getting taken out in like an hour at the campsite anyways again, which you'll see tomorrow when we set up the campsite. Once again, got my funny toe mirrors going on here. Gonna have to straighten that out a little bit. And we got the, the rockwood hooked up. We're pretty much ready to go to the campsite and set up tomorrow. So I don't know how they do camping and seasonals around the part of the world where you're at, but out here, you pretty much you park your trailer, you pay for a spot where you can park your trailer year round, summer and winter. Diesel. So you get to enjoy full-time camping all summer, well, while I'm home, camping all summer, and then you also have a place to store it in the winter if you want to store it there. Personally, I'm gonna bring it back to my house here because I live in the country and I have room for it, but a lot of people who don't, have room at their property, they can leave it right there. They pay for the winter as well, so they have a place to leave it, and that's very, very handy for a lot of people who live in the cities. This summer, you'll probably see a lot more traveling than you will camping, but when I am home, I'll most likely be mostly living at the campsite there, uh, around about where my family is. It's about an hour and a half from my house or so, so that's sort of why I wanted to spend the summer out there, is because when they're always out there and I'm here, uh, it's hard to, see each other and still get the camping in that we want to do for the summer. Summer is so short here in Canada and in Manitoba especially that you don't want to waste it. Right? You get like two months of really good weather and you want to spend it in nature at the campsite, right? You excited to go camping, Diesel? You excited to go camping? You know what that is yet? You want to go camping? There's going to be a bonfire. Maybe some s'mores. Every night and every day. No? Yeah? You just want to go for a ride, don't you? That's all. I'm just excited for the ride, man. Just put me in the truck. Let's go. Got my Timmy's. We're well on our way towards the campsite. You will see that tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today and keeping me company while I got my tooth pulled. It wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it might be. I've had teeth pulled before. I should say it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. I was expecting a whole lot more pain. You know, they're yanking out part of your head that's sort of grown in there, you know, sort of you know, rooted in. It was a massive tooth, you saw it. But anyways, thanks for coming out today. Tomorrow, you'll see me at the campsite, and then the day after, we're scheduled to leave on a trip in the truck again, the semi-truck. No clue where we'll be, where we'll be going yet. It's beautiful outside though, so it doesn't really matter which direction I go, it's gonna be beautiful. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow at my campsite as we're setting up. Thanks for coming out today. Jamie.